is a pleasant surprise. I was Vegas. Did you get into some trouble for me? Let me see a good shower. Have a good time. As you can see from my luxury accommodations this past week here, and the chuckles has just been peachy. Yeah, I'd say from the look of things, you're master of your fate. Well, don't bother sticking around for the trial. From what I hear, it's an easy open shut case. You'll never get to trial, Dodge. Sonny will get to you first. Yeah, I'm accused of beating your best friend's daughter. Aren't you even curious if I did it? When I was talking, Christina, she got upset, naturally. And Sonny and Sam asked me not to question her anymore. And I said I wouldn't. What, what was the discrepancy in Christina's story? At the time, Christina says she was beaten. Ethan was still with the haunted star. Christina and I were having a little talk. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sure you meant well, but whatever you were talking about seems to have upset my daughter. Well, she's been through a terrible trauma and the details can be confusing. I think she may have made a mistake about identifying her attacker. No, Mom, it was Ethan, I swear. If what they're saying is true, I don't know how to help you. That's not exactly what I needed to hear. Look, Dodge. I was there when Christina flounced into the casino and wouldn't leave. I was there when she threw her nasty little tantrum and tossed that drink in your face. And I was there when Sam came in, blaming you for all of her sister's problems and spouting a bunch of crap about men being brutalizing bastards who do nothing but victimize women. Now, under those circumstances, I can see where a guy would snap and might do something that he didn't intend to do. So, what, you think I did it? No, I didn't say that. What I'm saying is that whether you did it or not, I will stand by you. You should have seen Christina when I found her. Whoever could do that deserves whatever Sonny has coming for him, but it wasn't me. I was I was still pretty pissed when I left the casino. You know, I admit that. I went to the lake house to just talk to her, and uh, there she was. She was laying on the floor, all just bloodied and broken. And, you know, poor girl was scared to death. Lashed out, tagged my face when I tried to help her. So I don't know who she thought I was. Maybe the attacker coming back to finish the job. I don't know. I took her to the hospital. But I, I swear to you, I did not attack Christina. It's okay to say that you made a mistake. You called out the wrong Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing, all right? She's identified the attacker. Why are you badgering her? I don't get it. It was Ethan, like I said. Okay. He was mad at me. All right, sweetie, Ethan. sweetie, sweetie, go calm down. Go calm down. I have no idea what's going on here. You gotta go. I came here to deliver a goodie basket that Morgan and I made for her. We sat on the couch. We were talking. She opened up to Do me. You I did not push her. Understand how traumatized she is right now. You are making this worse. She's lying, and she doesn't know how to get. Why would she lie about this? You know, Carly, is this about Ethan? Because he's your cousin. Because if you're doing this to protect him, it's unconscionable. Sam and Christina both told me what happened that night. The story. It doesn't match up. So here's how it goes. Christina said that Sam dropped her off at the lake house and uh, Ethan showed up right after Sam left, but that's not possible because Sam drove straight to the Haunted Star and Ethan was there. Sometimes trauma victims blur the passage of time. No, I, I, I get that, but Christina told me that, that Ethan showed up like five minutes after Sam left. Even if Ethan showed up later, an hour later, she would have remembered doing something during that time. Okay, but here are the facts. Christina and Ethan argued earlier at the Haunted Star. He mm -hmm. went over to her house sometime after that, and mm -hmm. she ID'd him as her attacker. And she ID'd him to you, right? You yeah. did the ER interview? Yes. And how, how did Christina see him? 
she was uh, she was traumatized, but completely cognizant. I mean, she knew what happened to her. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Maybe she just said Ethan's name, and now she's too afraid to admit that she made a mistake. If you want me to sidestep the official investigation and look into this myself, I'll need more to go on. Do you have any other reason to believe Christina would lie? Right, this stays off the record. Between you and me, agreed? Agreed. It wasn't Alexis who ran Claudia off the road last summer. It was Christina. I am not protecting Ethan. If Christina is lying, this is going to eat her up for the rest of her life. Charlie, you showing up at the house and accusing her of being a liar isn't helping anything. Okay, last year, she ran Claudia off the road. Her first impulse was to hide it. Listen, lie. you have children at home. Go take care of them, and I'll take care of mine. Please. You have nothing, nothing to be sorry about, okay? Because Carly shouldn't have come over here and upset you. It's because she's cousins with Ethan. She just wants to help him. Then she should get him to tell the truth because what Ethan did was wrong. He was wrong, not you. Oh, baby. Not you. People have jumped to some pretty ugly conclusions about me, so I know what it's like to be judged before the evidence is in. Yeah, well, thank you for believing me. It's good to know there's one person in this pathetic waste of a town who has my back. It is an uphill battle, though, when the victim IDs you. Well, I didn't exactly do myself any favors. It was beyond stupid to get into a public argument with Christina. Yeah, I, when I found her at that house, I don't know, I should have just put it in an anonymous call to 911 instead of putting on my cape and driving her into the hospital. No, you did the right thing. She was hurt. She needed help. You gave it. Well, there's one thing I'm still banging my head against the wall over. Yeah, I know what it is. It was stupid. To break that restraining order and go to see her? What the hell were you thinking? I don't know, I had this idiotic notion that somehow I could talk sense into a little girl and convince her to clear my name. Well, it was a boneheaded move. Yeah, I know, and now I need to run. You know, so thank you for taking the time to come back and bust me out. Now, just hold on a second. Let's don't uh, jump to some rash conclusions here. You need to stay put right now and see if we can clear your name. Failing that, I'll make you disappear so completely they won't even know you were here. Christina had a restraining order against Ethan. He violated it by going to see her at her house. And when Sam called it in, I went to arrest Ethan and I found him ready to skip town. Lucky, do you think Ethan did this? I don't want to, but I'm biased. I mean, Ethan's my half-brother, and it's true, I don't know him very well, but still, I don't want to believe that he's capable of, of beating any woman up, let alone a 17-year-old. So, maybe, maybe he did go over to Christina's house in, in, in hopes of convincing her to tell the truth. Maybe the bruise on her arm really was just from the haunted star, like he said. I mean, if I was innocent, I might panic like that, track her down, try to convince her to tell the truth. And if I was guilty and I was Ethan, I'd have been gone that day because Sonny would have wanted me dead. Exactly. So the question is, why would Christina lie? I don't know. That's what we have to find out. All right, I, uh, I'm going to look into this further, because if, if Ethan's innocent, I want to clear his name, and I want to find the piece of garbage that did assault Christina. Let me know what you find out. I will.